All right, so we're back with the second set of boots from our recent trip to Texas Boot Company. If you haven't seen uh, the first review, it's on the um, Grizzly um, Anderson Bean from Texas Boot Company. Check it out. There's some, um, some video from Texas Boot Company in there and my thoughts on the company, uh, which is an amazing store. Um, they've got tons of product, again, and um, super helpful uh, staff. Today we're going to talk about um, the Anderson Bean Split Hippo, and so I've been I've been trying to get a pair of Hippo boots for a while, and initially it was going to be Lucchese, but we've had some fit problems. I've had two um, custom orders that were they didn't fit after three months of waiting and uh, an assurance that oh this is the right fit, they didn't fit, so. I guess we're trying something different now. Um, Anderson Bean is part of the Rios Mercedes um, Olathe and Anderson Bean horsepower family of brands. Uh, Anderson Bean being the 40 year old uh, came into being about 1989 as a mid priced um, boot that uh, you know doesn't break the bank. Obviously, uh, Rios and Mercedes brand is, is going to be uh, quite a bit more expensive, and this is kind of created similar to the Luke, <coughs> excuse me, Luke Casey 2000, where it's still made in America, um, but uh, Luke Casey boot maker now, where it's, it's still made in America, but it's, it's a little lower price point. Um, now, I, I think actually the Anderson Bean is a little better quality than um, some of the Bootmaker series that, uh, from uh, Lucchese. And it just seems like a, a better quality of uh, material is used. So as I said, I was looking for Hippo for quite a while. And this kind of fit the bill. I was in need of a, a replacement suede boot, which um, if you haven't seen my video on the R. Watson black black rough out uh, take a look at that it, it was a great boot um, Mexican made it had one flaw and I, when I tried to take it back there were no more in stock so it had to go back and this is the direct replacement for it so the Anderson Bean split hippo version is a stone washed boot and it's not as pretty as the R Watson but they both are meant for different things, um, a different style, if you will. So let's take a look. Okay, here we have the Anderson Bean um, Black Split Hippo boot, and the vamp is Black Split Hippo. Top is um, Danube Mad Dog Goat. Um, it's a height of 13 inch shaft, toe DB heel AB, cut is 335035, size. 9.5 double E. It retails for $436.17 at Texas Boot Company. Let's take a look. All right, as usual, you have the Anderson Bean card here, and I will put some uh, high-res photos of that, static shots. We've got the boots. Let's get rid of this. Let's take a look at these. You could probably see right away that stonewashed dust is all over these. And it's more apparent on the left boot than the right. I will throw in some video of this 
just so you can get an up close look at this. As always, Anderson Bean tag with a QC check signature. Anderson Bean, made in America. It's got a pretty soft, it's got a pretty soft lining. Now one thing that I notice about Anderson Bean is there's always some little glue residue or stray threads that are just hanging everywhere. And that's the same on my Grizzly boots. Uh, the toe bug has threads hanging. There's not a lot on the shaft of this particular boot, but the toe bug bothers me. They couldn't get that smooth, then I would prefer leaving it out. This, this actual toe bug doesn't have any piping underneath it. It's just stitching. I'm sorry, the wrinkle itself. Um, the bug is black on black and almost imperceptible. There's so much dust and, you know, rock debris on this boot, it's hard to see any flaws with it. A little bit of glue here and there. I think it's a really cool boot. The, the grain of the hippo is a, a really cool. Uh, this is a split hippo. I would have preferred a full grain, maybe a sanded hippo. Um, but this is this is supposed to be that distressed look, and it is a hippo boot, and it was the right price. Now the stone washing process is actually done just like you would stone wash a pair of blue jeans, so there are some nicks and scuffs on the the sole and heel because they stuck this in a drum with some rocks and they tumbled it. Okay. As usual, we have the Anderson Bean foam insole, which is quite comfortable. I, I have to say, I, I enjoyed wearing these the other day, the, um, the Grizzly. So leave that out for a minute. Uh, if you take that out, it is a traditional boot with a leather sole, I'm sorry, insole, and leather pad on the heel cup. Lemonwood pegs. The stitching is very nice. It does have the sole saver. The sole has been skived out to allow for a flush fit of that sole saver. Now, the Grizzly has the sole saver as well, and I gotta say, I enjoyed the traction it gave. Um, it was very comfortable. I had no problem with it. It's, it's really a nice boot. Uh, I can't wait to try these. I'm gonna probably wear them today. We do have, on the pull tab, we have Hippo Overlay. It is not, like I said, we've still got stray threads around it. The heel is a stacked leather heel with actual leather, not leather board. The top lift is nailed and you can see those nails. I assume it's glued too, but uh, I, I like to see this nailed heel cap or top lift. Double stitched welt, wide square toe. What else we got? Made in the USA label on the inside. Got the Anderson Bean logo on the inside of the other pull tab. 
It's a solid boot. Let's take a brush and see how much of this dust comes off. It does come right off, as you can see. So it does look very nice. I kind of like how there is a little bit left inside the grain. Um, this is going to be treated just like suede. You're not going to put a conditioner directly on this. So you are going to need to use a suede conditioner on this and a suede waterproofing if you prefer that as well. Um, Saphir makes both products. Um, I will leave a link in the show notes to those products. Um, what else do we need for a new pair of boots? Over $200. boot trees. Okay, so I harp on these boot trees all the time, and I know a lot of people say, eh, I don't need it. I don't mind if my boots get curled up a little bit, and I don't mind the wrinkle marks, but here in Central Texas, uh, the struggle is real. We have some dangerous critters running around here, and I get bit all the time by something, usually spiders. Um, these cedar boot trees are a natural um, bug repellent, and it's actually used, uh, the cedar oil is actually used as a pesticide. So these will keep spiders out of your boots. If you don't know, people have actually put a pair of shoes or boots on and been bitten by black, widow, black widows or brown recluse and wind up losing a toe or something. So especially if you have a bunch of boots, somebody could be making a nest in there and you don't know it. I um, I always shake out my, my tennis shoes before I put those on because you never know what's inside. <laughs> All right, that's going to about do it for the unboxing and overview. I'll be back in maybe a week or so for an extended review. How they've held up, how I've liked them, the good, the bad, and the ugly. So that's going to about wrap it up for these Anderson Bean Split Hippo boots. I hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching. As always, like and subscribe. Please ring the bell. Um, remember, our link tree link is in the show notes, and you can access all of our groups and our contact information through that. Please join one of our groups. It'll help our community, and it will help you by gaining the knowledge of all the group members. Also remember, we're doing a podcast live every other Sunday. You can only get the link to the live show um, at our group or on our Facebook page. Thanks for watching.